I often see heated debates on the P versus P question, pedigree versus potential. Whether it's in evaluating a founder with a new idea or hiring a senior management team member, I often hear divided views on whether someone has great pedigree or not. This in fact always leaves me a bit bemused. While I value a strong educational background, my 30 to 40 years of experience has shown me that neither the educational background nor an impressive employment history, the pedigree in of itself, is really indicative of the future potential of this person. These are merely around past accomplishments. While of course education represents a certain knowledge and effort, it doesn't really prepare us for the complexity or the volatility that you will face day to day in a workplace and in a startup. How often have you seen people with great educational background but don't seem to fulfill the potential that must be possible for them? Because there is something else also at play, the softer skills, one's attitude, collaboration, conflict resolution, communication skills. These become very important in how they can work in a team setup as well as how they can deal with the chaos of daily work. These skills for some people may be innate but I embrace the school of thought that they can be cultivated. So when we are hiring, this is the hardest to evaluate. On one side, we have the traditional belief that a candidate's pedigree defines their worth. On the other side, we have the progressive notion that passion and untapped potential can be equal or even more valuable. I have a tendency personally to always bet on potential. Remember, potential can manifest in various forms could be in exceptional communication skills which make someone a great leader or could be in creating a unique vision that inspires others to truly invest uh, and support but i think a culture needs to be created where we celebrate effort learning growth along with outcomes if we think about performance rewards, they are usually only for outcomes, but rarely focus on softer skills. Maybe it's time that we provide recognition for it. So cultivate potential by encouraging your teams to take calculated risks. Let them embrace failure and provide a safe environment always to experiment and innovate. Sometimes. The most valuable candidates I find are ones that truly are hungry to learn and grow and maximize the opportunities offered to them.